Hi, this is Anne from The Useless Crafter, and today I'm gonna to just walk over really quickly how to use this tool. This tool helps you measure the thickness of your material for all your Glowforge Aura projects, um, and for your Glowforge in general. All right, um, before we get started though, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. I appreciate all the support that I can get. Okay, so Kayla from The Salty Yankee and I, we have been, um, working together, just coming up with things, playing around with projects for the Glowforge. And what I realized is that we couldn't, while I can measure all my materials, it was still really hard to get the exact measurements to do something like this, where you need the exact measurements so that your pieces go in so that you could build a 3D project, right? Um, so we've done like earring holders, all that fun stuff. And before she came up with this tool, we were basically just test cutting. She would finish the file, send it over. I would test cut because she doesn't have a Glowforge Aura. Um, and so I'm, you know, I'm testing out all these different materials and it was just so frustrating. So she is brilliant, came up with this um, tool so that you can measure. So wherever your material falls in, then you have the exact measurement so that you can update it in the app for your Glowforge project. So let me give an example for you if you wanna cut this pencil holder, right? We've got little rectangles um, here to make sure that you have the right one. It depends on the material that you wanna use. Now I made this for all my proof grain materials that I had. It's just nice to have like a little swatch kit. So I do highly recommend that. But for instance, if I know I'm gonna be cutting with uh, medium walnut, for instance, so it's a proof grade material, which is great my Aura camera will scan it and will know how to cut, score, and engrave. But it doesn't know how thick it is for me to work and make like a project like this where it, I need the actual depth, you know? Like it can cut everything, but I actually need to assign a size so that the pencil goes through. All right, so let me show you how that's gonna work. Basically, you're gonna get this material and you're gonna start to see where does this fit. It's kind of, oh, it fits right there. So whenever I need a slot, and I'm gonna, it's gonna be like the eye doctor, right? <laughs> this fits, it's still a little bit loose. I'm gonna go and make sure, so this is really good. It's tight. Let's see, I don't think I can get it in this. Oh, I can get it in, but I'm like jamming it in. So for this size, what I'm gonna wanna do is for the thickness, it's gonna be 3.2 millimeters and the equivalent is 0.126 inches. So let me show you how that's gonna work. All right, let me make this smaller. I'm gonna flip myself around, so give me a second. Okay, so first all, First off, <laughs> this is the tool right here. It's on the Salty Yankees website. You can either shop by category, which is Glowforge, or you can scroll down and get to Glowforge, but it is um, the material thickness measuring tool. All right, so let me show you what that looks like in the Glowforge. So let's change out our project. And I'm gonna get you something that I've already done. So let's go to my designs. And I'm going to show you that pencil holder. So here is my pencil holder. Okay. Um, right now everything is in engraved. So I'm just going to change this for instance. And we're going to go to cut. Change this to cut. Okay. Um, now you see these little slots right here. I'm going to move it over here so that it's easier to see. Ignore everything over here. <laughs> okay, so these slots, I need to change the thickness because if I was cutting this in acrylic, these slots would be different in the thickness, right? Or if I decided to cut thin wood, medium wood, whatever it is. So what you want to do is you want to be able to make those adjustments. So if you remember, this was at 3.2 millimeters. If I'm going to be using medium walnut, for instance, um, and 0.126 inches. So I'm going to right click on it so that I can ungroup so that I can get to these individual pieces, right? So if I'm going to change the size for this one, I'm going to go to ruler and I'm going to change 
the width. So this is now 0 0.072. The equivalent is 0.12, oops, 1.26. And I want to make sure, oh, I do want to unlock it because I only want to change the width and not the height. And that didn't do it, so hold on. I needed to change it beforehand, so. Let's go back to the beginning, okay? <laughs> and that's gonna happen, it's okay. Back, you know, hit the undo, back arrow. All right, so I want to make sure, I don't wanna, let's see. Oh, I wanna unlock it. I wanna change this to point um, one, two, six. And then I just hit the tab, so it, it keeps it at point five inches in height, so the height doesn't change. But you see the difference in width between this one and the one to the right, okay? So we're gonna change it all. Now again, you wanna make sure, first of all, that we don't wanna lock it, so to click it would be to lock it. So right now it's unlocked. We wanna keep this one because it's rotated that way, um, that it's at 0.5 inches, then we wanna change this measurement, right? So this one's gonna be one, two, six, and you see it got thicker. You wanna do it to this one. This one, I'm gonna change this to one, two, six, and I'm gonna change this one to one, two, six. And now you have a jig. So just think of my pencil holder. These are all the pencil, the little holes for the pencils to go through. And then this is to keep the top and the bottom in, you know, in place. But that's how you use this, um, this measurement tool. And I'm telling you, it's a lifesaver. Um, before this, we would be test cutting all day long. <laughs> all right. If you have any comments or questions, please post them below. Um, and let us know what you need. All right. See you guys later.